Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another defensive video for you today uh, mixed in from some live gameplays. This is a couple of gameplays that I did uh, not too long ago, and I really want to uh, focus on one particular defense formation that I find myself using the most these days, uh, whether it's to stop the run or uh, critical situations. This has been the defense that I've been pulling out the most. If you want to see more videos like this, as always, let me know in the comments section with the like button. I'll continue to do them. Other than that, let's go and let's get right into the video. The defense that I find myself using to stop the run these days the most is probably out of the 4-4 split. I'm either using the cover 2 invert, which you saw there, or the FS blitz. Now, the cover 2 invert I put out before, but I never put out the FS blitz. I find that when it comes to interior runs the ff blitz is much better when it comes to outside runs the uh the cover two is much better so anytime i see a two tight end set or more uh two tight end three tight end i'm definitely going straight to the four four split this is the beginning of a game first defensive possession and you can see right here this is the setup you can see it basically looks like a five two front more like a five four front because of the way that the uh the safety is in the box the linebackers are spread out the setup's really simple all i do is pinch the defensive line spread the linebackers and then i qb contain you see my defensive end are in QB contains that just makes sure that they stay out wide that they get the outside leverage on their offensive blockers whether it's the tackles or the tight ends so you can see right here first play he's going to go he's going to fall right in my trap he's going to try to run it and you can see there's really nowhere to go once again that QB contain that defensive end he holds that outside leverage he holds that outside edge and he shuts that down very next play I make a very critical mistake just to show you how important this is I accidentally spread the defensive line right before the play is hiked and you're going to see he runs the exact same play but here he has success you have to pinch the defensive line, spread the linebackers, and QB contain. That exact setup is pretty much the only way it's going to work. Now, my opponent here, he goes, he's running a hurry-up very first offensive possession. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to switch over to the cover, too, because this play, like I said, if it's an outside run, which that last play was, is a little bit better. Exact same setup. The only difference is I'm going to hard flat my outside linebackers, which is wire triangle and then down on the right stick. And you can see, I mean, one of my favorite things about this is you really can't tell the difference. This is me flashing back to the FS Blitz 1. And then me flashing forward again to the cover one QB or the cover two invert. They are the exact same look. There's no real difference. The cornerback on the right side there is a little bit further back on the cover two as I switch back to it. That's about it. But who's really going to tell that? So, like I said, outside run, you can see how the outside linebacker just shoots in off of the hard flat. That's one of the things that you're going to get quite a bit. You can see, you're going to see a couple times throughout the video, uh, you're going to see how uh, these outside hard flats just shoot in and play the run super fast, which is really what the, the purpose of it is. Is. So, like I said, if it's an outside run, which this guy's running a lot of, I'm going to switch over to my cover or my cover to invert. It's also a tough cover. It's like it's not just a run defense. It's second and 13, so the chances of this guy passing are a lot higher on a, on a second and long. So, I'm not going to come down into the box like I typically would. You can see I'm, I'm using the safety more towards the center of the field. Um, if you're not a competent user, you can always put him on a mid third, uh, but ultimately, that's going to be my user's time. You can see right here, everything's covered. Cover two inverts are a little bit different. A lot of people don't necessarily know how to attack them the same way they might cover two he's trying cover two concepts he's trying to stretch the field and hit the outside receiver but i'm there so fast forwarding a little bit into the game on a goal line once again like i said if it's a critical situation i'm going to pull this defense out i'm going to go ahead with those hard flats one more time you can see once again the outside run is dead there's nothing there um you can see that the i mean both guys were there you had the defensive end because he was on the uh he was on the QB contain and then you had the hard flatted linebacker and because he's th those two things are going to shut down outside runs over and over and over so here we go once again he's passing because there's really nowhere to throw and you can see everything's bracketed there's really nothing there he's trying to basically just hit crossers a lot of times crossers will find space in between the cover threes when they're dropping back uh the cover three outside corners but in this particular defense it doesn't do that because cover two to me is probably one of the best defenses in the game when it comes to uh how the zones cover and it's mostly because i think they patched it that way I, i've noticed that through the patches over the year um that they a lot of them really focused on how cover two's covered and i really think that that EA intentionally patched cover two to be the best defense. Now here, this is once again, everything's covered. Probably should have been an interception by the computer, but for whatever reason, Madden does what Madden does. He didn't even jump for the ball, but this ball still got knocked out and there were still four defenders all around it. So like I said, to me, cover two is one of the best zone coverages in the game and the invert has just a little something extra that makes it really hard for opponents to figure out. So new game, another opponent. Uh, he's running a three tight end set. If you've been watching my channel long enough, you know the three, four bear was one of my favorite uh, defenses not too long ago for run stopping. This has 
replaced it. I thought about that for a second, and then I was like, no, nah, the 4-4 split's the way to go. I go right back to the cover to invert. This is the very first series of a game, so I have no idea if my opponent's going to run the ball inside or outside. I don't know what he's going to like to do yet. But you can see when I do my alignment here, I mean, this is just, you can see, even against a three tight end set, my edge defenders in the box are wider than his blocking alignment, which means I'm always going to have the advantage on the outside. Now, like I said, this is the very first play. I don't know if he's going to run inside a run or an outside run. He actually ends up passing it. But once again, we're pretty covered. We're pretty well covered. And then the hard flats are just so key on the outside. I mean, they just do such a great job of taking away check downs uh, to the point where you're going to get picks like I did just there. Now, you don't really have to set these in your audibles. You just have to remember, FS Blitz is a good inside, good for inside runs, stopping inside runs. Cover 2 is good for outside runs. And it's also a better pass defense. Although you'll get better pressure with the FS Blitz. So when choosing which play to run, if you're running this in a scheme, I mean, it's simple. Diagnose your opponent. If they're running inside, it's the FS Blitz 1. If they're running outside, it's the Cover 2. If they're passing more, you want to run uh, the Cover 2. If you if if they're if you need to get a little more pressure, you want to run the FS Blitz 1. Here I chose wrong. He's running an inside run. I ran the I picked the Cover 2. He's going to get one of his better runs against me. You know what I mean? It's that simple. The cover, does, the cover 2 does okay against inside runs, but the FS Blitz 1 is obviously much better. So on third and inches, I'm going to figure he's going to go ahead. He's going to run on the inside one more time. Pick the FS Blitz, uh, and that's pretty much how we're going to roll. So here we go one more time. Safety comes down in the box. Like I said, you got that. It's essentially a 5-4 front, which is obviously a really good front. Now, I, sometimes I use the, the linebacker that's blitzing. Sometimes I use the linebacker that's not. So here you can see, I mean, he runs an RPO, but if he would have handed this off, that defensive outside linebacker would have came in and just shut that down. He barely gets the first on a pass play, but that's pretty much what you're going to have to do because the inside run game is going to be completely stopped uh, with a play like that. So second and goal, one more time. We have, I mean, this is the type of run alignment where my opponent would more than likely be running an inside run. I think he just flat out changes. I think he sees this front alignment and just completely flips the play. You're going to see he goes ahead and he flips the play to a different formation entirely, switches it up at the two-yard line, tries to go with an inside run. <laughs> And sure enough, once again, that outside linebacker, like I said, because he's on that hard flat, just reacts to the run that much faster, flies in, shuts it down right at the point of the handoff, and we're basically pushing him back. Now, the cover two invert can be a pretty decent inside run defense. You just have to, it's all about the user. Both of these defense can really be stepped up based off of how, what you do as a user. So here, he's going to run an inside run one more time. I'm going to just basically act like the free safety, just step into the hole and make him change direction. You see right there, he wanted to run up the gut. I didn't have the right defense called. I didn't have the defense where the free safety was there to take on the blocker but i just stood in the hole and it basically had the same effect so whether you're you know whether you choose wrong you can still make the play work you just have to step your game up as a user i'll even use these sometimes at three wide receiver sets like right here my opponent like i said two tight end i would typically prefer but i have enough faith in this pass defense that even against a three wide receiver set everything's locked down you can see right here there's really nothing open i'm just i'm covering that tight end of the side because that probably would have been the most dangerous route i can see that my opponent has a receiver coming open on the left there so i have to get back and when i do he decides to throw the ball to the to target i left and that cover two invert comes down and makes a play so we get an interception even in a against a three wide receiver set so like i said really good defense against the run or pass so that's it that's the vid if you guys want to see more videos like this let me know in the comment section with the like button and i'll put out more like this other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below